Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. This is my first official video of 2019 and I'm so excited. I put out a video two days ago because I intend for this video to go up tomorrow. So two days ago and um, yes, that video was like a compilation of my Christmas and New Year. So this is the first time I'm sitting down to film in 2019 and I'm so excited. I just want to say again, thank you so much for sticking with me through last year and for all of you that subscribed to me this few days of 2019 already and the people that will still subscribe and my oldies i love you all so much thank you without talking too much um today's video is going to be a chit chat get ready with me where i'm just going to sit down do my makeup while we chat so you guys already know how this works i feel like you guys like this video i hope you guys like this kind of videos and yeah, we're going to chat about the lion hat the movie that just came out genevieve's movie that everybody's talking about and just a bunch of other things really i'm going to try not to spoil the movie too much but if i'm going to spoil it i'm going to give you guys a notice anyways i am ranting too much let's just get on with the video and also if you're concerned about the fact that i'm not wearing earring please don't be i've got some messages on instagram and even here on youtube people saying oh you will look better with earring why don't you wear earring are you deeper life and all that and me not wearing jewelry it has nothing to do with my religion i just don't like to wear jewelry it's just that simple i'm not even wearing my wedding ring right now it's just one of those things i like it's nothing to me i can wear or not wear it's not a big deal so that is the reason it has nothing to do with religion or any other thing i just wanted to put it out there because i'm not wearing my earrings right now and i know somebody will notice and say something anyways guys hope you guys enjoyed this video and thank you so much again for sticking with me and i'll see you guys soon <laughs> So guys, um, let me just start by addressing the elephant. I cut my hair again. I kind of did a big chop. I wanted to start 2019 with a fresh cut. So I didn't like go to the salon or anything. I just used scissors and cha 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 cha. And we're here. I'm going to braid it tomorrow. But in the meantime, this is what we're working with, okay? I got my order from Colourpop finally. Yay! I'm so excited. This took, actually they said it got there like sometime in December, that peak period that I wasn't around. Anyways, I paid a whopping 5,680 naira for customs. It's written right here. And I'm so pissed because normally with color pop, I pay like 500 bucks, 1,000, 1,500 at most. And this, everything inside here is like less than $60. So I don't know why it costs that much. Anyways, I have coughs, so I might be coughing a lot in this video. I'll try to cut out as much coughs as I can, but just in case. Um, yeah, I'm going to be working with a lot of things from color pop, as you guys can see. It's right here and yeah and we're going to gist as usual you guys already know this kind of videos by now and i think you guys like it so we're going to be gisting and before we get into the video here i'm going to be talking about the movie lion hearts and some other things so i'm going to try not to spoil the movie for you if you've not watched it but at the same time give my opinion about the movie okay so just stay tuned let's start let's start the makeup in i finished my eye makeup and yeah i used the color pop brow pencil for the first time and yeah i mean it's all right <laughs> it's not the best brow pencil i've ever used but then it did the job and i like the color it goes very well with my hair so it's perfect anyways um for my foundation i'm going to be using the color pop no filter stick in dark 167 this is dark 167 and I feel like this is probably one of the first time well well this first time in years I'm using a stick foundation so let's see how it goes about the movie Lion Hearts so um obviously if you've I feel like it's just a tiny little bit dark for me but we're going to make it work with um with a concealer and all that so about the movie Lion Hearts um if you have been on social media you know that you know Genevieve released a new movie called Lion Heart, and truth be told, I'm not like Genevieve's biggest fan. So when people were overhyping the movie, I just thought, oh, okay, it's probably because of it has Genevieve in it, and she directed the movie or wrote the movie or something like that. So I felt like I'm using a brush instead because I don't think the blender would have done a good job. 
So I felt like people were like a little bit biased about the movie because I mean, a lot of people love Genevieve. But I went ahead and saw the movie yesterday and <laughs> before I go into saying what I have to say about this movie, I remember that I shared my thoughts about The King of Boys, the movie. And a lot of people did not find it funny, like my opinion funny about that movie. Yeah, I'm just like, this is my personal opinion. I don't have to love something because everyone is saying they love it or because they love the cast member or something. I mean, I have a right to my opinion. So don't get angry if I say I don't like a movie you like or if I say I don't like a movie that Genevieve was in, in or directed like it's not that serious. If I don't like it, I don't like it. If I like it, I like it. If you don't like it, you don't like it. If you like it, you like it. It's really none of my business. So far, so good. This foundation, so far, so good. Um, I feel like the shade is a perfect match. Can you guys see the like shade compared to my skin? I feel like it goes really well. If you people just notice the change in the lighting, it's because they just took light and the light was on and it's off. And your girl is about to start sweating because even though my windows are open, um, my AC was on, so now this is definitely off, and the heat my my stance. I'll shout on the rechargeable fan, so if you will start hearing the noise, just know it's the fan. When the lighting is so off, but you guys please bear with me. Anyways, I'm going to go ahead and highlight using the color pop as well. So talking about the movie Lionheart, so you know there was a lot of rave about the movie on social media, and I'm just like, okay, I need to see this movie to actually know what the you know the rave is all about so yesterday i went ahead and you know watched it it's on netflix which is like so amazing and you know don't have to go all the way to the cinema to to see a particular movie me i'm really like i like going to the cinema but then again i don't really like going to the cinema anyways I watched the movie and here are my thoughts, okay? First of all, it was a great movie. Like, the camera quality was amazing. The acting was phenomenal. Like, it was so good. Obviously, they're all great actors. Um, Genevieve, um, Kemo, and every other person that was in the movie, I mean, they're all great actors. So, we already knew that acting was going to be on point. So, there was no issue with that. And then... Um, yeah, like, I just felt like it was so different from a typical Nigerian movie in the sense that, you know, Nigerian movies, there's always, an, like, especially when it comes to this sort of movies, like, where Genevieve's, like, little spoiler, let me warn you people, just little spoiler, I'm not going to over-spoil, but I can't help but spoil a little. Anyways, um, you know, the fact that Genevieve's dad was sick and an and uncle came in to help out. Usually in a typical Nigerian movie, you know, the uncle is going to turn out to be very wicked or something or trying to take over from from the father or shall just do something evil especially in Kemu I mean we all know Osofia is like as evil as they come when it comes to being an uncle so it was good to see like a fresh view where he actually legitly came to help um where he actually legitly came to help yeah and also yeah it was good to see that he actually legitly came to help and also you know i love the moral of the story um it doesn't really it's not really big on morals but in the sense that like you know doing good for somebody can actually you know pay in ways you least expect it if you watch the movie you get what i mean i'm not going to go in depth for those that have not seen it that still want to see it i'm already spoiling it for <coughs> anyways yeah, like doing good, <clears throat> you know, it's always good to do good. I mean, we should all try and do more good. And also, um, just the fact that Genevieve um, is a woman and, you know, the father didn't look down on her because she was a woman and wanted to give everything to the son. You know, it was good that they let the son be who he wanted to be and Genevieve followed the rules of her dad, which she clearly wanted to follow, you know, without the fact that she was a girl like you know changing anything it was not very fresh in all that perspective but but of course there's a but but hold on let me contour i'm contouring using the color pop contour stick as well
so but the one thing i didn't really like about the movie just the very one thing i didn't like about the movie is that i just felt that the storyline was very weak it was like so basic there was literally nothing interesting about the storyline in my opinion no. and i just feel like the only reason the movie is getting or the pause is getting is because obviously genevieve produced the movie or created the movie or whatever and it has a lot of big actors inside that being said um obviously like i said they acted very well it was a good movie a breath of fresh air like the story like, like just how things were played in the movie but it didn't take out the fact that the movie was extremely like basic it was just like there was no high there was no low it was just like a straight line like literally all true and yeah i just felt like they would have done more they could have done more i mean it's not my work i don't know because i know some people come to the comment and say eh the day you create a movie now let's see how good you do like i said it's not my job i don't know but they are creating a movie for us the viewers to watch and for us to like so this is just my personal opinion so i like all of you taking things personal i got a lot of insults to my the last video i kind of i didn't even review i just talked about um king of boys yeah the last movie i talked about king of boys i watched it and talked about my opinion i got plenty people saying ah you know you create movie now let's see how good you will do it was the best nigerian movie i've ever seen this is this, this, this. auntie uncles thank you it's good that you people feel that way but your comments will not even change my opinion in any way and being rude about how you tell me will still not change anything in any way you know it was good in your opinion fine the way you are free to share your opinion on my comment section is the way i should be free to share my opinion wherever i choose to share it so i don't know i don't get all the attacks but anyhow you push you even if you don't like it thank you very much yeah? just comment it the comments is still helping your girl so anyhow you comment it's fine whether you're hating it's okay whether you're loving i love you back just comment okay <laughs> <coughs> i mean it's not that serious we all must love the same thing like mm -hmm. as i was saying guys i feel like one thing we all need to learn this 2019 is the fact that we're all different and we're, go we're all going to have like different opinions about different things in life so let's stop trying to like uh, what's the word i'm looking for force our own opinions on other people or stop making people feel like stupid or feel like something is wrong with them for having a different opinion than we do and just just know that everybody's brain is not wired the same way something you love another person will hate. that's why we all have like different favorite colors or favorite food because we're all very different so you loving something and me hating something or you hating something and me loving something it's just as simple as preference it's basically just that it's nothing more than that it doesn't make me a bad person and you a good person or you a good person and me a bad person so let's just let's improve on that in this 2019 i beg you guys like let's understand that we're all different but all the same deep down literally we're all human beings you know my eyes i think i'm loving how this eye came out i used a lot of new products for my eyes today and <coughs> i love it now i'm going to use the powder to dust off my excess powder and go ahead and contour so while we do that i just want to talk about how you guys know i don't know if you guys know how i was on a weight loss journey last year leading towards christmas I was really proud of my progress you know I was feeling myself like I've lost weight at some point I even have flat tummy I was wearing fitted dresses and doing all sorts of things I wasn't able to do before 
Sham just said to tell you guys that the days are gone. It's literally over. If I stand up and show you guys my tummy now, you're literally going to laugh at me so hard because I was feeling myself so hard. But this Christmas, you guys, the food this Christmas, I could not hold myself. <coughs> I just couldn't resist. It was, I mean, it was so hard to resist because every, literally every corner, every place you turn, there is food. I used to wake up here, I would eat breakfast with like two bottles of malt. <laughs> I should be laughing saying it, but it's actually the truth. I'll eat breakfast with like two bottles of mold. I'll eat lunch with like two bottles of mineral, like soft drink. And then I, I might even eat dinner like that without any drink and drink water. But then there's always a party. Literally every night there was a reason to drink in the village. And then I'll just drink a bunch of Hennessy and champagne and every other thing and we're back to square one and the next day the same thing it was it was my life this christmas i don't know if you guys got a taste of it from my last vlog like my last video i put out two days ago i think two days ago i'm on a roll because i'm filming this video now because i i, I know this video is going to go up on monday which is tomorrow so assuming that goes as planned i i put a video yesterday then tomorrow so this 2019 is looking good already anyways all that diet is gone and you people I, I need to lose this weight because I have like my vacation coming up very very soon so I actually need this weight gone before then we don't know how that will happen but we'll see I plan to start like dieting again tomorrow I say I plan to there's no guarantee that's going to happen but we'll see I love this powder by the way I think one of the favorite things I've used today on my face this powder I absolutely love it <laughs> Come now, come and show them small skin. This is a combination of uh, eye like eyeshadows. This I use this brown and this orange that I just used on my lips. Then I'm just going to put um, a gloss over it because this is like kind of color I'm trying to achieve, and I don't know if like I have an exact shade that you know. Give me this. By the time I put gloss, it's going to tone it down a little bit. So guys, this is what the finished look looks like. I just literally put on this wig. I'm not wearing a wig cap. So if my head is looking funny, just know it's because I'm not wearing a wig cap. So it's like my head is not leveled. And you guys saw what my hair looks like. Anyways, I really enjoyed filming this video. And I love this look. I absolutely love this look. Like this is literally a whole face of Colourpop cosmetics. It's a whole face of Colourpop. Like eyebrow, concealer, foundation, contour, highlights powder eyeshadow everything literally is from colourpop you guys already know how much i love colourpop and yes thank you guys so much for watching this video to the end for those of you that did not forward it to this part i'm, I'm watching you for those of you that forwarded it um hope you guys enjoyed this video don't forget to like comment subscribe you guys already know what to do at this point and i'll see you guys in my next video bye guys